Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acidy here again with you for another video. And as you guys know, as of two days ago, the mid-season reinforcement was released and we've seen a lot of new buffs, fixes, and even a nerf in there. And I basically want to use this video to give my thoughts on the mid-season reinforcements and whether or not I think it was successful, as well as just give my overall thoughts on how I think the changes have went. I have played the new update quite a bit in the last two days, so I feel like I've had enough time to kind of form my opinions and thoughts on everything that has been changed. To start off, I'm gonna go over some of the patch notes and discuss what has been changed if you don't know already. Basically, the biggest thing so far is the buff that Glass received, which allows him to have a thermal scope now. This allows him to see enemies in that kind of infrared heat signature style where they really stick out like a sore thumb and you will be able to see them from pretty much a mile away and pinpoint their exact location as well as the thermal allows them to see through smoke grenades that includes the standard smokes the operator smokes gas canisters as well as Capitao's crossbow. I will be doing a more in-depth video talking about the buff to glass and what I think about it. I will be kind of re-evaluating the score that I have given him in my previous operator school video. Personally I used to think glass was a very weak operator and there weren't very many reasons to use him but overall right now I think he's in a good state. I've already seen people say that he's OP, which I don't think that's quite the case. He's definitely a whole lot better than what he used to be, especially with those smoke grenades in combination with the thermal scope. And overall, I just welcome this change to the game. I like anything that's going to kind of switch up the meta a little bit and make Siege a more dynamic game where it's always changing and we have to be on our toes and adjust to the new playstyles. The next thing we have is Twitch's new dope ass elite skin. I really like this a lot. Twitch is one of my favorite operators and I use her quite frequently so it's really cool to see an elite skin come out for her and get to use that. Now when it comes to the price of the elite skins I still don't think they're worth the 10 to 15 dollars that they sell for but it's still cool customization that you have the option to buy. Next we have the buff to Doc gadget now if he does decide to overhill himself or a teammate you can go up to 140 hp where previously you could only reach 120 they said the reasoning behind this is not many people would really overheal or there wasn't much of an incentive to but now with this change they're trying to make people more willing to do the overheal and kind of rush the enemies personally i don't know if it really matters all that much I've seen people use this new overheal as well as myself and tried to rush in and still got killed pretty much instantly. In Siege, it's all about headshots, so it doesn't really matter as long as they can land a headshot. The next thing that I want to talk about in terms of changes with the midseason reinforcements is some of the gun balancing. So I knew as soon as Jackal came out that they were going to make some sort of nerf to him in one way or another, and I had a strong feeling that they were going to nerf the C7E, which they did. Now it does have an increase in recoil. They made it so it is harder to control with prolonged full automatic fire. I did get to test out the C70 quite a bit and I don't think that the change was really all that drastic. It's still very manageable. You do however get some more random kicks with the gun while you're shooting where it'll kind of go up into the left or up into the right. Overall it's just a little bit less predictable. In a way it kind of reminds me how his PDW feels where it'll just kind of kick a little bit randomly. Again, I don't think it's completely unmanageable, it is still a great weapon nonetheless. The other nerf I guess when it comes to weapons is the DMR fire rate. Now you can't quite tap fire as fast, which will prevent spam firing and pretty much turning the DMRs to fully automatic weapons. I do like this change, I don't think it's completely game breaking, the DMRs are still great, they do a lot of damage and as long as you're accurate you can still be good with them. Then we also had a change to Echo's MP5 SD. Now, they increased the amount of damage it does over medium range. I know his MP5 did kind of feel like a pea shooter, especially when you're in gunfights that are at a distance. Again, that has been buffed now, and I still think that his gun is better off in close range. It still doesn't do the greatest amount of damage, so you really want to limit those firefights. But either way, I'm happy with the change, and the same goes for Cavera's Luizon pistol. Now, it does a little bit more damage at the medium to longest ranges. As you guys know, her pistol before had a very, very fast drop off in terms of damage. So you would kill somebody very quickly up close and it seems like if they took a step or two back, it would take a lot more bullets to take them down. Now that's been fixed and she does a little bit more damage at range. Now the other two weapon changes go to Capitao and Thermite. Both the Para 308 and the 556XI have seen a decrease in recoil, so they're gonna be a lot easier to control. I think they feel really good. I don't necessarily think the Para 308 needed a buff when it comes to recoil because it did so much damage. First blood, double kill. Triple kill! 
But I am happy to see the 556 five, did get a buff and recoil because I wouldn't really use Thermite all that much because he did have a bit of kick when it comes to his weapons where when I use somebody like Habana, it's much easier to control. I really like this change, especially when it comes to the 556, five, also because now I am more willing to use the angled grip on that weapon, allowing it to feel much more snappy. You can kind of just snap onto targets with the angled grip, and I like that about the change. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about was actually one of my favorite changes in the whole midseason reinforcement, which was a decrease in the size of the reticles. A while back, they made the reflex and the red dot smaller, and then they did a hot fix or patch, and then they increased in size for some reason. A lot of people didn't like that. It made it a lot harder to aim, and most people didn't even use the reflex anymore at that point. Now, with the midseason reinforcement again, they are smaller, along with the hollow sight, which I think it just makes the gunplay feel a whole lot better in my opinion. I also almost forgot to mention with the update, now Buck does get an extra magazine for his skeleton key, which honestly, I think it's a lot bigger of a change than people might make it seem. One of the reasons why I kind of didn't use Buck as much is because the skeleton key seemed to run out of ammo very quickly. It almost felt like it was very limited to as what you can make a hole for, whether that's just going for lines of sight, or if you want to make holes big enough to walk walkthrough or even just to use that vertical gameplay to your advantage where you either use the skeleton key to shoot out a floor or ceiling and get a better line of sight on the enemies. Now one of the other little things that is worth mentioning in the midseason reinforcements is the buff to Blitz. Now Blitz will be able to shoot faster after he uses his shield flash. Previously there was a two second delay where he couldn't fire his weapon. Now that is eliminated. A lot of people are disappointed because whether it was a troll or people are serious, a lot of people were saying buff blitz and he didn't really get much of a buff with this update. Personally, I'm not all that broken up about it. One of my least favorite things to do in this game is go up against somebody with a shield, especially like blitz where he can flash you and you're completely blind. But as for my final verdict, whether or not I think that the midseason reinforcement was a successful update, Personally, I think yes. I really enjoyed that they changed up the game in a way that we didn't really expect. I don't really think many people expected a glass buff until they kind of leaked the information that they were going to be doing one. And it seems like he has shaken things up quite a bit, which is really making people rethink how they play the game, which is what I love about Ubisoft and the support that they have done for Rainbow Six Siege. They're keeping us on our toes. Everything just kind of feels fresh and new. Now, would I have liked to see a little bit more in terms of drastic changes? Yeah, I think that there is more that could have been done during this reinforcement, especially considering last time we did get a completely new map. But in general, I'm very happy with what they have done. So with that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, feel free to leave any comments you have down below. Maybe let me know what you think about the glass buff, whether you love it or hate it. And if you are new, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.